Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys? As you can see, it's a beautiful day here in New England, specifically central Massachusetts where I live. And as you can see, we got a little snow in the ground and some snow in the trees. This is a beautiful time. Um, got a little bit of snow yesterday and um, had to do some plowing. So no motorcycle riding today. I'm actually walking down to the mailbox, drop off some mail. Figured I'd do a little video today. Maybe I'm bound to wonder from one place to the next. Heaven knows why. But in the wild blue yonder, your star is fixed in my sky. So I'm not really new to um, creating videos. I am a little new to the whole YouTube thing, but I've been um, strapping video cameras on my motorcycles for years. Back in the day when you had a big, huge family video recorder, I used to strap that sucker onto my motorcycles and um, would create some videos. So it's winter time now here in New England, as you can see. And um, I'm gonna go through some of my old video footage and put together some movies. So I'll show you some rides and adventures I've been on. But today's video is going to be about the Trans Mass Trail. And if you're in New England and you're not familiar with the Trans Mass Trail, you should check it out. I'll put some links, I'll put some information on it through this video, talk about it, I'll show you some video footage. And um, so yeah, so stay tuned. So the Trans Mass Trail was a route put together um, that starts in, on the Vermont line and runs all the way through Western Mass and ends in Connecticut. And it was put together by a guy that I met from a message board called Adventure Rider, which is a pretty cool place to hang out. So this guy, Keith, who lives out in that area, um, strung together all these little dirt roads. And um, it goes through some little towns. Most of them are dirt or gravel. It does have some pavement mixed in, but there is a lot of gravel, gravel roads. Um, it goes through some beautiful little towns that... Uh, you don't see because they're all little back roads that you would normally wouldn't see if you were traveling out that area. There's a couple of rough sections. I guess we call them hero sections. But for the most part, it's nice, easy gravel roads through Western Mass. Do you need an adventure bike to do this type of a ride? Not at all. I've done it on my Multistrada. I've done it two up. I do it with my Triumph Explorer all the time. And I've also done it with uh, my KLR 650. So you don't really need a dirt bike per se. So this first video section, um, I don't have any audio from the day of the ride. <clears throat> you can see a bike in front of me. That's uh, my friend Joel on his KLR 650. And occasionally you might see my friend Cashy behind me on her BMW Kelly Cash. So we are um we're traveling i'm not even really sure what section of the trail this is probably right in the middle of it but um it was a beautiful day a little overcast it had rained earlier that day so we were kind of looking for hoping to find some some good mud puddles and right here you just if you catch it on the left hand side there was a huge hawk that was flying right above joel for a good half a mile and um, it was following the road uh, as you can see these are regular town roads with houses on them where people live and um, this is a little bit of a, a rougher section here I'm not sure if there's any houses on this little spot right here but um, <clears throat> this is probably about the worst that the Trans Mass Trail gets there's not too many sections that are um, worse than this there's some mud right there caught a little um a little bit of mud and got 
little fishtail sideways kind of. Um, there are, this section right here, this is probably a not maintained in winter section, which there are a few of those on this route. But, um, but as you can see, there, there are tracks and we're not the only ones that are out there on these sections of highway or dirt road. So you saw a little bit of footage of the Trans Mass Trail when I was doing a group ride with, um, some friends but the audio didn't come out so here's a little bit of uh just solo riding me talking to myself talking about a couple different subjects not sure exactly what it is but let's roll tape guys as you can see it's a beautiful day here in New England it's first week in September the leaves are just starting to change I don't know if you can see those over there but we're still a couple of weeks away from this area being stunningly beautiful and as you can see I'm on a dirt road and I'm on the Triumph Tiger today um, I've been taking this bike mostly on road trips this summer even though I put on some pretty gnarly Midas Dakar um, tires 07s and they're pretty worn down so um, I figured I should get out and do a little bit of dirt road just before I replace them however uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace them with the same ones I'm gonna stick with those car 07s because they're really good tires in the dirt, in the mud, loose gravel, but they also warm wonderfully on pavement. I've been very, very happy with um, how those things work on pavement. So today we are on the Tiger. Alright, so I finally, I decided that I should let the big 1000 go. I threw it on Craigslist, I'm sorry, Facebook Marketplace, and I put it for a very reasonable price. Not that I had to sell it, or I really didn't want to sell it, but I knew that it was just gonna sit, and it was gonna be expensive to get the thing running after sitting for a while, and I am just, I'm not into projects anymore. And um, I knew I probably just wouldn't make the time to play around with it. So I was hoping that um, I'd be able to sell it quick without doing any work to it. And possibly sell it to somebody I know so I can kind of still keep an eye on it, I guess. And that's, um, that's when my good friend Ken Roy, who is one of my New England Rider buddies, Decided he wanted it and he came down and picked it up yesterday and helped him load it in the truck and I gotta tell you that I kinda had seller's remorse. Okay, so as it turns out, I actually don't have a lot of footage to share with you guys on this particular route. Um, this section right here is taken with my original 10C which had a microphone problem, didn't work, all it did was record uh, video, no audio. I have some really nice sections that I did that are very scenic in the southern part of it, going through some beautiful little downtown little towns. However, it didn't. I left the boot on the camera, so the lens was covered. So I have audio, but I have no video. So I'm just gonna show this one little section here. I guess you would call this a. Um, well, this is definitely what they call a not maintained during winter section of the route. 
So there's a few areas like this. This is about as rough as it gets. Um, it's not too, too bad if you're on an adventure bike and you got some good ground clearance. And uh, can you take a street bike on this? Sure. I think I've taken my concours on sections like this, but just it's, I guess it depends on your own um, comfort level of what you're willing to put your motorcycle through. So uh, the entire route is about 100 miles long, so you can easily do this in one day. You can do it, turn around, come back, and do it north, and you're going to see it, it really is like a completely different um, ride going in both directions. So one of the times we did this, we had a few issues. We, we, it was a group ride. I was leading about seven or eight bikes. We had a few, few problems. We had a few drops, stopped for some photos. By the time we were about three quarters of the way back, um, heading back, it got dark and we were in a really rough section. So uh, we decided to abort and get on some regular paved roads. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. I am going to put up some photos that I have taken over the years on different bikes. But I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to Keith, uh, aka Hulked Up. And I believe his YouTube channel is Adventures With Me. So he's the one who created this particular route. He and he shared it with everybody in the motorcycle community, which is a, a, a great community to be a part of. Um, he posted it originally up on Adventure Rider and maybe some other message boards, and now it's pretty popular. There's a lot of um, it, you can it, you can obviously uh, download the GPS file from Adventure Rider. Um, you can email me or send me a message and I can send you the actual route for a Garmin GPS and you can get out there and I'm sure you can Google it and find probably a Google map of it. So uh, again, thanks for, uh, for watching. If you like my videos, please click the subscribe button. Well, it's getting a little late. I'm almost to the end of the Trans Mass Trail and I've made it to one of my favorite spots in Massachusetts. This is the Reeds Ferry Bridge. See this going to be down there fishing. But it's also called the Pumpkin Seed Bridge. So you can see from the construction, this is called, a, this is a true truss bridge, but it's a pumpkin seed. So, this is in Conway Mass is right there. Delaware Mass is right there. And right up on that hill is where Bill Cosby lives. Or used to live. I think he's living somewhere else, a little smaller right now, but that's his estate over there. So, we're getting close to the end.